Good morning. How are you today? It's a little bit grim outside. I've just taken Olive for a very long walk and she's still bouncy, even though she managed to dip in and out of several uh, areas of water, especially in the brook down the bottom of the hill. So today we're not live because we are getting ready for the Festival of Quilts show, which is happening on Thursday. So that's brilliant. We're going to be at the NEC from Thursday through to Sunday on stand J60. So you can come and find us there. We're going to have lots of our fabrics, lots of kits up there as well. We've also got Kim from Vlyzeline. So she'll be doing some demos on the stand with us too. So there'll be lots of Vlyzeline products that you'll be able to take away with you as well, which is brilliant. So that's really cool. But today we're just going to show you a few of the new fabrics that you will be able to find at the show. So first up is this one, it's beautiful. It's a cotton, but it's got a beautiful kind of stripe and a little flower woven and embroidered into the fabric. This is so pretty. It's called Daisy Chain on Blue Cotton. It's a cotton mix. So it's got that lovely soft kind of handle, which is really nice. So this would make up, it's a blouse kind of weight, perfect for Iris, Eleanor, um, Frida top. I think that would be really sweet, actually. You could even, I'm wearing the overshirt from the Sewing for the Soul book today. So made up in a lightweight version of that, this would really work. Um, you could use it for any of our summer dresses as well, but it's quite a pretty one, actually. It's really sweet. So that's really cool. So this is Daisy Chain on Blue Cotton. Now we've put this, again, I do like to colour up the fabrics. So this is another cotton lawn. It's called Cornflower Meadow. And it's a really lovely, clear kind of cornflower blue. Again, really soft blouse weight kind of thing would be great again for um, an iris top if you want to do the little collar little shell top Frida blouse Eleanor shirt you could make it up as a Lavinia summer dress if you wanted to we've also got the um, camisole and shorts workshop which would, this would be perfect for talking of other workshops that we've got coming up Debbie has very kindly written them all down for me just so that I can, uh, I've got in my head what's going on. Um, we've actually got, now this is something that kind of links into some of the new kits that we've got here. We're actually having an embroidery kind of social sewing session. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Um, but we have a fantastic company called Stitch Happy who are local to us, which is brilliant. We've now got their kits in and we're actually starting to do a bit of hand sewing, a little bit of kind of a, like a mindful moment kind of morning, which is rather lovely. So we've got that coming up on the 9th of August, which is lovely. So you can come and do a little bit of hand stitching, which is rather nice. Uh, what else we've got coming up? Oh, we've got the From Collage to Quilt workshop with Sarah Hibbert. Now she's going to be at the Festival of Quilts, which is fantastic. So we're really looking forward to having her up at Long Barn with us, which would be brilliant. Her workshop is coming up on the 29th of August. I've got my wrong glasses on, you see, so I'm having to duck down to have a look at what the, what's being written. Um, Another of the workshops that we've got coming up is the trouser block one. Now, that's a really interesting one because if you've ever had problems with fitting trousers, go right back to the beginning. This is a really good place to start. You're working out exactly what your body shape is, how to fit it, because we are all kinds of different shapes and sizes. And we're not only thinking about the girth that goes around us and the length, we've also got to kind of kind of do that third, almost like that third dimension that goes around underneath the body with the crotch seam. And getting that right can be really tricky. But when you start off with a block, which is what we'll do in that workshop, so we take all of your measurements, we do the dot to dot kind of thing to create your block shape, and then we get that fitted. So any trouser pattern that you use afterwards, you can kind of use your block against that to get the right kind of crotch shape. So it's really going to be helpful, actually. And we've got that coming up on the 2nd and 3rd of September. So I know it's we've got a little way to go, but it's, you know, it's good to get these things booked in, isn't it? Um, we've also got a Fit Your Dummy workshop. Now, again, that's brilliant because you can kind of pad out your um, existing mannequin 
so that it's far more your shape. So it makes it much easier to, again, get the shape and the fitting right for your garments. So that's a really good one. That's coming up on the 5th and 6th of September. So back to fabrics, because that's what you're here for, really, isn't it? So we've got Cornflower Meadow in a beautiful cotton lawn. Now, this is lovely. I think this is so pretty. I might end up having to get some of this for my daughter, So, which is really nice. Now, this is a lovely, like a chambray. So this one is called, she says, finding the stickers. Where have they gone? Oh, it's called Steel Blue Chambray, which is actually, yeah, steel is quite a good colour name for this because it's, when I say a dull blue, I don't mean a boring blue. I mean, it's slightly steely grey kind of colour, but this is brilliant. So this would work fantastically for the Eleanor dress that I've got behind me, uh, Eleanor, Amelia dress that I've got behind me if you wanted something that was rather nice. Now, Amelia is lovely. We haven't kind of focused on her for a while because we've had lots of new things, but this is one of my favourites, actually. It just sits so beautifully. The pleat is gorgeous and it's got the little tie detail here as well on the sleeve. And the denim chambray, the steel blue chambray would make up perfectly in that. We've also got, actually this would kind of work, tones in quite nicely. This is another, now is it cotton or is it a viscose? They actually feel very similar. It is a viscose, yeah. It had that, because it's quite a stable fabric. It almost felt like a, a really lovely Pima cotton lawn. But this is a viscose. I love this. Slightly darker colours, which I think is really nice. But this would make up perfectly into a Hippolyta, again, which is another one we haven't really kind of featured very much recently. But I love Hippolyta. In fact, I might even take this and wear it to the show. This is in a cotton lawn, but it works beautifully in a viscose as well. And it just gives you that little bit of a, a soft kind of drape shape to it, which is lovely. So this is called Floral Noir print in 100% viscose. And again, that is lovely, really pretty. Oh, I like that. I like that. Again, it would make up in all of our summer dresses as well. This is something I have definitely got my eye on. It is a seersucker. Now, this one is called Ebony Waffle Gingham. So it's actually a seersucker, but I think this is gorgeous. I may end up having to make myself an Angelica in this, with, and I'm going to oversize the sleeve, I think, which would be really nice. We have this in several different colours. And it makes up beautifully, actually. This is really lovely. I do like that gingham. Now, we've got another one in the red, which I'll show you. But before we get to that, we have this one, which is another viscose. And again, it would make up really nicely into the Ada dress. Our new Ada wrap dress. So this is floral print on red. Another really exciting name, isn't it? Honestly, we need to get Leah to come up with some more names for these. But I like the print in this. Again, it's a really clean red. So it's going to go with lots of different things. And it's got lots of different colours in here. You've got a bit of teal, a bit of mustard, a bit of navy, a tiny bit of pink in there. So lots of different colours that you can pick out of this. And it's going to give you, it's still going to breathe because it's a viscose. It's a really beautiful, it's a really lovely quality fabric, actually. I really like this one. And it's called, yes, floral red, floral print on red, viscose. Again, really original. We probably need to come up with some new names for this. But that's that one. Now, the next one is the red. Now, again, this is a really lovely. I think this would make up quite nicely in an Ada top, actually. Another waffle gingham, but in red. Oh, it's called Dorothy. Dorothy, oh, Dorothy's Red Shoes, I suppose. That was Leah. Yeah, good. Again, I really like this. It is beautiful. We have got other colours and we will be taking them to the show. So that's rather nice. Now, this is a slightly heavier weight fabric, but I love the print on here. So this is called Midnight River. Midnight River, yes. 
and it has a it's a slightly textured almost I don't know if you can see on the back there there's you can see the texture better on the back and it has got a little bit of stretch so this would be perfect for our hero trousers so these are brilliant and again if you're worried about trousers come and do the pattern block workshop because you'll really start to understand your shape and how to get things to fit properly for for your own body which is brilliant but this would also make up really nicely into the Gertrude jacket so that kind of boxy sort of workwear shape I think would be really nice in this so Midnight River it's a cotton mix slightly heavier weight so definitely suitable for um, trousers and jackets then we've got another another chambray this time it's a black or charcoal one so this is black melange linen mix so lovely I really like that it feels gorgeous actually it's really nice quality and again this would make up beautifully if you wanted to have an over shirt or a, the Amelia dress um, any of our Actually, a Florence in this would look really nice. I'm just at the moment I can just see the red linen Florence with the button placket, and that would look amazing in this. Actually, it would be really cool. I really do need to get around to making myself some new clothes, don't I? One day I'll find time. But that goes, that kind of leads us into this, which I really like. Now, I'm not really an animal print, but this I love. It's called, she says, Snow Leopard. So I suppose it is a little bit snow leopard, but it's got a little bit of orange. Now it goes with my ring, you see. So this could actually work. I love my... Have you noticed my necklace? It's got the maker's space on it. This was a present from a fantastic company that we're going to be working with. And I shall be telling you all more about those very soon. This is a cotton poplin. So it's slightly heavier weight than a normal... Um, cotton lawn for example it's more of a it's a closer weave so it feels a slightly more dense fabric and this is what's used most commonly for men's shirting but it makes up beautifully and again I think an Angelica in this with extra big sleeves I think would be really cool I really like this I may have to have some because it goes with my ring purely and simply and no other reason which again, because it's got that little bit of orange in it, kind of links into the next one. I do try and colour up the fabrics. So this is the first, uh, this is the same as the first fabric that I showed you, but in a different colourway. So it's called Daisy Chain on Coral. But again, it's a really pretty fabric. I mean, you could make up a beautiful little summer dress in this, either for an adult or a child, actually, it would be quite sweet. But it's very lightweight, so it's definitely blouse weight, but it's very, very pretty. And then the last one that I want to show you today, I really like this. It's a slightly kind of paisley, but not paisley, similar kind of feel. It's a viscose and it's called Blooms on Sunshine Yellow. It's a tencel, actually, not a viscose, but again, it's very light, so definitely blouse weight. Or um, you could kind of get away with, I think, a Lavinia or a light summer dress would be perfect for this. You could actually make it into a nice big overshirt. The um, oh, I'm quite getting into shirts over dresses, uh, sh or dresses and shirts over trousers again. So you've got that nice long line, a Cesario shirt made up in this tencel would be now what we have done before in workshops is actually spray starch fabric before you cut it out and make it. It just makes it much easier to handle, particularly if you've got something lightweight like this and you need to cut out small pieces like a shirt collar. It does make it really helpful. The other thing you can do if you want to cut out small pieces like a shirt collar is block, block fuse your fabric. And this is something that Kim from uh, Kim Suleiman who's going to come and do the Vlyseline demonstrations, will be able to show you when you come and see us at the Festival of Quilts this weekend. Starts Thursday. The, uh, what date is Thursday? What's, 
I can't remember what the date is now. Anyway, it's Thursday through to Sunday and we're on stand J60. So come and find us there and you'll be able to see all of these beautiful fabrics and stroke them in person. We'll see you soon. <laughs>